What's up, YouTube? Let's jump right into a very cold, a very icy Hidden Arsenal Special Edition opening, as well as some more 5Ds packs and some other loose Hidden Arsenals here. We have a Hidden Arsenal First Edition, Hidden Arsenal 4, Trishula's Triumph, First Edition, which is probably our highlight. But we also have Special Edition here with Hidden Arsenal 1, 2, and 3, I believe. So, with that being said, and without further ado, as you can see, also a legacy pack here. We're gonna get cracking. Chipmunk through this. I swear I pulled this so many times in these, uh, um, in these blisters. Free. Our ILC pack there. And a Hidden Arsenal Special Edition. All right, there we have it. No surprise first ed packs in there, nope. But there's our XX Saber Emmer's Blade. Let's adjust our lighting here. Pretty cool promo. Even the old promos, some of them are great still. Until they started reprinting secret rares as promos and stuff like that, I feel like that's when it ruined it. I didn't really like Hidden Arsenal when it first came out. But uh, because all the cards in it were hollow, I feel like it kind of devalued it. But now they're, they're kind of nostalgic still. Still some pretty cool secret rares in there. And of course our, uh, our ice barriers kind of a good theme here, a good holiday theme. But with that being said, let's get right into it with Hidden Arsenal 3. This pack is tough to open. Jeez. Okay, so actually I want to remember too. Yeah, there it is. Because the secret rare is oh, butchered. Secret rare is right on the top. Don't want to spoil it right away. So do the little trick there. Put it right at the back. All right, it worked. Fabled Dife. Dief. Samurai of the Ice Barrier. One of the uh, ice barriers we mentioned. Drag Unity, Tribus, our Gen X Accelerator, and it's a Synchro, and it's a Jurak Vel Velfito. I think I got that right. Pretty epic. I remember I kind of liked Jurak's, the idea of Dino, a Dino-themed deck, but never really took off. I did play Dino Rabbits when they first came out, so that was pretty cool. But that was about as close as it got. Yeah, I enjoyed Dino Rabbits. Okay, um, where do we go now? I guess I'm going to go with... Uh, you know what? No, we'll keep that later to switch it up. Yeah, we'll go from the start, I guess. Why not we'll go with Hidden Arsenal 1 before they were named? I believe yeah, Hidden Arsenal was when I first started naming them. And did these ones come out the same? Yeah, okay. Secret Rare is still at the back. Jeez, why are these packs so difficult? Even though it's just five cards. Another trick here. Alright, X Saber Ruse, Worm Barsis, Berserker Crush, a little uh, winged Karibo on the front there. Pretty cool. Ally of Justice Colossus. And Bryonic, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. No way. That is an epic pull. No freaking way. It's not really worth that much anymore, but heck, if you were going to ask for anything. Bryonic, probably the best pull you could ask for there. Pretty epic. Bryonic, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Bryonic or Bryonic. Not sure how you pronounce it, but... Pretty epic. Okay. Nice kickoff to our uh, first two secret rares there. I know they all come with secret rares, but still, I can be hyped. Okay. So, where are we going to go now? Oh, yeah. I said we were going to go in order. Hidden Arsenal 2. And then before Hidden Arsenal 3, we'll switch it up with a IOC pack. 
Witcheroo as well. Forget this guy's name. I believe he's another ice barrier monster as well. There's also Gunyir, the dragon of ice barrier. I really want to get him too. Medium of the ice barrier. Mist Valley Executor and Fabled Grimro. I believe this, or was it this Fabled or another one of them? That was pretty pricey. I can't remember exactly which, but yeah. They, uh, one of the Fabled's, Fab Fabled's had some, had some decent run at one point, I remember, so. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna jump into IOC, see if we can get some heart of the cards here from the original Yugi boy himself. Apologies for my uh, voice if it sounds bad here. Have a little bit of a cold, but I had to power, power through it. Had to power through it. Let's go. DNA transplant and a DD scout play. No way. Been doing pretty good with these, uh, in terms of hollows with these reprint packs recently. A Getsu Fuma as well. Alrighty. So, we've gone four for four. Four for four? Yeah, we've gone four for four. Even though I know I've said before. Guaranteed to come in hidden arsenal. Nonetheless, pretty epic. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're going to go another hidden arsenal three because we have doubles. Let's see if we can put a drag unity knight. Guy Balg, I believe, is the guy in there. And then I'm not sure if there's another one that comes in this. Hopefully we'll find out. Drag Unity Dark Spear. R Gen X Ultimate uh, Ultimum. Thought it said Ultimatum. Jurak Brachus. Caravan of the Ice Barrier. And we have a Fabled Leviathan. Okay, so I already got one of these guys. But again, the Fabled's pretty cool. No Drag Unity Knight, unfortunately. Alrighty then. Shining Darkness, can we rev it up with a Ghost Rare? Save this one near the end, just because of that possibility. Gotta love Ghost and Ultimate Rare pulls. So hopefully we get one here. Archfiend Interceptor. Blossom Bombardment. Lena, the Light Charmer. And... Uh, Axe of the Pummer. Okay, interesting. No hollow there, but pretty epic pack nonetheless. Now our finale to finish it off. Sorry, my light went out there. Gave one of these packs away in the giveaway. So uh, I'm not sure what the third pack I got was. Hopefully I didn't spoil it there for you guys. Hopefully it wasn't a Trish. Pretty epic to pull a Trishula. Imagine two cover cards at a hidden arsenal would be pretty epic. Maturia Ragweed, the fabled Coquetor, fabled Chawa, Jurak Dino, and the fabled Kudabi. So just a lame donkey for the end there. But pretty epic nonetheless. Started off probably the best as it could get, pulling the cover card, Bryonic, the dragon of the ice barrier. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next one. Make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any weekly old school Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Peace.